You didn't have both of your shoes on, but you no. do now? No. You do now? Yeah. What are we going to plant? Um, seeds. Yes, what are we going to... That's right. So I'm going to give each of you five. Okay. Hold out your hand. Will you count for me? One, two, three, four. Five. Five seeds. Five. Okay, close your hand and don't drop them, okay? All right, Bear, are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm just curious if each one of these seeds is going to grow a whole plant, because that's going to be a lot. I was thinking maybe... Two, three, four. Five. Since we have so much land... Eloise, you want some seeds? She can't. She can't. She can't. You can't? She can't? You want some seeds to plant? I'll carry her seeds. That's really sweet of you, but I think she can carry her own. I don't think she can hold her hand. Hold your hand out like that. Perfect. Here. I like seeds. Why don't you just grab yeah. what you want? Don't eat them though. No, 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 don't eat them. I mean, I guess it's not a big deal if you eat them, but we're not eating these. We're taking them and planting them in the ground. Oh. Here, hold out your hand, Wee Wee. Hold out your hand. The eight one. <laughs> okay, I'll carry Wee Wee's. <laughs> or do you want to carry them? Do you want to carry them? No. You want me to carry you? Okay. Okay. Seeds in my hand. Because we're going to go plant them. So I was thinking, with all the land that we have, I don't know. I'm pretty sure um, melons are, um, are low maintenance uh, uh, and um, like zucchinis you know and squash and things like that. So I was thinking if we grow a bunch, I don't know if there's anywhere around here that would allow produce type Mama, donations, do but maybe we could go. We're going to hide some seeds in the ground. That's an interesting way of putting it. So I was thinking maybe we could donate them. I don't know yeah, do how to go do about it. doing that. Let's do this. Let's do let's it. Let's do I'm getting some more seeds, honey bunny. Brad was saying. Can I have some more seeds? Lindell. Brad was saying that it's probably only like non-perishable items. This, so we'll have to see. Hey, don't throw, don't throw your doll into the fan. Why? Because I don't want it to... Break. Okay, here we go. Watch this. There's a bunch more. All right, we'll see you out there. Watch. Good. And then you like how I'm using a screwdriver as a shovel. Uh -huh. Dig a hole right there. Can I, can I have some? Mhm. Mm they have extra. Put the seeds in there. They have. They have more. I do. Did you put it in? Yeah. Um, okay. They have more in. They have. Um, they have some more in your pocket seeds. that are closed. Mommy, I got a little bit more seeds. Okay. We need to make sure we spread them out, though, because they need a lot of space to grow. Okay. Eloise, do you want to put one in? Uh, I'm wet. I don't want to be wet. Yeah. Mommy, yeah. I don't want to be okay. wet. Another I like one. how... I don't want to be wet. Okay. Here we be. Okay. Here. Here we go. On the ground. Put them in that hole. Good job. Can I have one? Oh, no. Okay, I'll put, there you go. I'll put these in. Let's see the hole. Good job. Mommy, I don't want any more seeds. So they okay. Um, um, uh, 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 this is going to be interesting. What's going to be interesting? Just the pattern of growth that we, we're going to have out here. That's enough. That's enough for that hole. Because we don't want them to be too crowded, Bear. All right. Oh, my goodness. Mama. We've got some blackberries coming in. Yay. You guys are silly. I was just on the deck. 
You were her. And I was just the front door and when it was on the deck and I was like, what? What the hell are you supposed to be that there? <laughs> Oh we goodness! We so fast, and we yeah. even beat you. You did. But I'm getting sweaty now from that running. You. <laughs> You're getting sweaty now. Oh, no, can you go? Oh, Mommy, can we run again? Can we run again? Of course you can. No, can you go on the side in that deck so I can go on this back and window? You can say, "What? What are you doing here, bear?" Can you? Do okay, that? let's go. Okay, I'll beat you. I'll beat you and you beat me. Okay, you run around that side, okay? Okay. Should we go this way, Eloise? Wait, Let's go this way. What? Let's go this way. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice work. I can't open it, Mommy. Do you need some help, please? Yeah. Okay. Mom, All right. What is it? Oh, yeah, that's you. <laughs> so Lyndall has her baby set up and is doing a little photo shoot with them. Is that a picture of my blanket, Lyndall? This is going to be good. Aww, so cute. Okay, thank you. Up. Down. Good job. And across. You just drew an A. You just drew your first A, buddy. Awesome. That's amazing. Let's see. Can you, can you do it on that one? Yeah. Oh, here. Let me show you how to hold the crayon like a pen. So you're going to squeeze it. Here, use two fingers. Actually, that's perfect. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Here, do it right next to this A. Put your finger, put your pointer finger on the, there you go. Oh. Yeah, Put your pointer on there. there. Yeah, nice. Up, down, but these two need to meet. So kind of do it sideways. So like slant it that way and slant it that way. That way they meet at the top like this. That last clip there where Bear was um, drawing or writing, learning letters and how to draw them. Um, right after that I asked on Instagram about when is it like when do we start to encourage them to hold their pen or their pencil properly and I got answers all over the board <laughs> some people that felt very very strongly that at age three it's too young because they are like their bones are still kind of loose <laughs> they're like they're separated and the tendons have not it's hard to explain I think if you look at like the structure of a hand of a three-year-old, you can see how things are a little bit more spread out and they're, the, like the ability, their dexterity is not there yet to hold a pencil properly. So some people were like, don't worry about it at all. And then I had um, like kindergarten teachers that were like, definitely encourage it at this age because it's a really hard habit to break if they're holding a pencil improperly. So definitely like a wide range of opinions on this and I'm sure it stems from people's experiences so kindergarten teacher that had a particular kid that you know was not holding a pencil properly and was used to the way they were holding it and anyway like I'm sure life experience has an impact on what your take on this would be but for Bear he he wants to learn like he wants to do things right and so for him like I think it's totally appropriate to like gently guide him in the direction of holding a pencil properly and if he's holding it completely wrong be like oh don't forget to hold your pencil the right way and I don't know what's going on with this loop here but there is a program called handwriting without tears I believe that a lot of people recommended and I think it's just all about you know teaching them proper writing with like positive reinforcement and not being so like stuck on the details that's my that's my take on it I'm not sure I haven't even looked into the program but that's what Bear and Linda will be doing at preschool this fall is that exact program so uh, you'll have to let me know what your opinion is on it and why and um, I think our plan moving forward is you know to encourage them 
to color and draw and like gently guide them into using like the proper technique when they're holding their pencil just so that we're not setting them up with bad habits. You know, I don't think he's even at a point now where he consistently holds it the same way every time. So it's not like he's ingraining habits currently without us like redirecting him. He's just like randomly grabbing it and coloring. So I don't think it's as big of a deal at age three, but you know, why not show them the right way and just say, this is the way you hold a pencil so that you have the most control and explain it like that. And um, I don't see any problem with doing that, but I don't know. I don't, I don't have a kid that like gets stressed out about that kind of thing. So maybe there are kids that if you are constantly telling them, this is the way you're supposed to hold the pencil that will like make them not want to do that task anymore, that activity. So probably just depends on your child. Anyway, um, that's going to wrap up the most random vlog of the century. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. We are planning on transferring one or two embryos this fall and we're very excited to grow our family and just, I don't know, get, get all of our children here earthside and then just kind of focus on raising them. So if you want to be part of that, then subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.